Today on Tiki Fire Toy Reviews, G.I. Joe, a real American hero, Vintage Destro. Hello, Tiki Fire here with another Tiki Fire Toy Review, and today I'm reviewing another toy from my childhood, another attic find. This is Destro, the enemy weapon supplier for Cobra. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. This is my vintage Destro figure. Destro came out in 83. He was part of Series 2 that came out in 83. And he was sold in 83, 84, and 85. The three-year figure, which is pretty unusual in this vintage line. Usually they would sell the figures for a couple of years, and then that would be that. But Destro was a three-year guy. And he's a pretty cool figure. He's kind of weird looking, but at the same time, kind of cool. Of course, he's got his iconic silver mask on. My figure, unfortunately, because of play we wear and I guess just grime and build up in, in the attic as well as the play wear, his shiny head is not so shiny anymore. Let me show you what he should look like. This is a figure I got off of eBay recently, and it was cheaper just to buy a whole new figure because I was missing his gun and it was cheaper to buy a whole new figure with everything than to just buy the gun strangely enough so this is what he should look like as far as his silver head and let me zoom in on these guys so you can see them a little closer that's what he should look like folks unfortunately you can tell mine had a lot of playwear this one on the right here probably did not have so much playwear but that's okay uh, <laughs> Pretty cool figure overall, though. Take that one back off so we can take a better look at him. I'm reviewing mine, not him. Yes, yes. You go away, Mr. Shiny Destro. You go away. No, no. Not you. I'm reviewing my original. All right, so <laughs> this is Destro. He's pretty cool looking. He's the enemy weapon supplier for Cobra. And has his file card here, and this is my original file card. And you can see there's part of the Part of the packaging on the back, showing his legs there, and the pistol barrel. And that's what it would look like on the back there, at the top of the package. File name, unknown, primary military specialty, weapons manufacturer, secondary military specialty, terrorist. <laughs> that's, that's an interesting military specialty. So what's your secondary military specialty? I'm a terrorist. Yeah, that's great. Birthplace, unknown. Destro is the faceless power behind Mars. Military armaments research system. Have to have... An anagram there, don't we? All right, so largest manufacturer of state-of-the-art weaponry. Two Destro war is man's most natural state. The fittest survive, and the greatest technological advances are made. He maintains a luxurious lifestyle around the world. Although in the comics and the TV show, he's always hanging out with Cobra. It doesn't look too luxurious, though. Weird. Destro provides high-tech arms to any side, able to meet his price, and will incite war where it does not exist. He dons his silver battle mask, a family tradition, and enters battle himself, either with Cobra Command, Destro is their major weapon supplier, or against them if it's better for business. And he kind of does that later, when they come out with the Iron Grenadiers. He kind of has some fights with them, in the comics anyways. And that, that comes out in 88. Anyways, Destro respects the G.I. Joe team for their combat skills and expertise, but abhors them for wasting such skills to maintain peace. He's totally dedicated to seeing them undermined, subverted, or destroyed. So he hates the G.I. Joe, and he hates nice things, because he's a weapon supplier. Okay. <laughs> Weird. Now, it is kind of odd. He does have on a split V-neck shirt here, and I'm not sure that really befits... Someone in 1983, but I guess that's what they were going for. I have no idea. It's kind of weird. It's almost disco-y looking on the figure. You know, it doesn't look quite that bad in the comic, but it's, yeah, it's kind of odd, this outfit. And he's got a pistol here that he comes with. He's got rockets on his wrist, although I'm not sure how that would work because it wouldn't set your sleeve on fire, but realism be darned. All right, and then he's got some kind of little charges on his wrist here some some kind of red things I'm assuming those are either controls for the rockets or yeah that's probably controls for the rockets that would have to be I mean it's gotta be it's got three of them and there's three rockets no there's only two rockets okay so maybe it's not maybe it's some kind of mine or explosive of some sort I mean he has a weapon supplier he does have a 
pistol holster, I guess, for his pistol that is just molded in his leg. And he does come with this backpack. This is his original backpack. And in the backpack, when you open it up, it's got a pistol molded in, some knives, some grenades, different types of grenades. And it's got a M16 looking rifle that you can build yourself. So that's kind of interesting. Destro and his build a rifle. Never leave home without it, huh? <laughs> Weird. I always thought Destro was a cool character. In the comics, he was really cool. And the comics here, as I'm showing you the comics behind him here, he was introduced in comic number 11 here, which is a very iconic comic. It introduces a lot of things like the snowmobile, dock, snow job, the gliders that were coming out that year. A lot of cool stuff in there. And, and Destro's introduced, but they don't show his face. Just his body. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. It's unacceptable! Look! G.I. Joe is beating us in the snow! G.I. Joe is fighting Cobra, the enemy on land, the sea, and the air. G.I. Joe And he's beating us in the air! In a desperate race, soaring and diving in a great sky chase. A real There's only one man who can help us. It's him. What's in store for G.I. Joe? Find out in Marvel Comics. Now, back to G.I. Joe. And he even beats up Doc in the issue, but Doc turns and has the last laugh on him for beating him up. Then he makes these appearances in issue 12 and 13 where. He's just shown in shadows, and they don't show him. Finally, in issue 14, you get full-on shot of Destro on the cover and all throughout the comic where they show him. So it was neat how they how Larry Hama played him up and kind of made him a mystery man of sorts. And kind of cool way to bring in this character. Now, I always thought he was cool. Even with the silver mask, yeah, it's kind of weird, but hey, what do you want? Now, they did feature him in other issues, like 22 here, where it looks like he's playing chess. 19, there he is on the Hiss Tank. 18, there he is with Cobra Commander. 29, here he is. That's where he and some of the other Cobra guys, I think Firefly and... Can't remember the other guy's name. They're mercenaries, but this is where he, they steal the whale for a little while. It's kind of neat. He's got three rockets there in that picture. That's interesting. And then two rockets there. This is a great issue. There he is, shown looming over Snake Eyes. I'm sure Snake Eyes can handle himself. And then here he is, about to shoot Storm Shadow. Pretty cool. Got the two rockets again. So sometimes they showed him with three. Sometimes they showed him with two. Odd. That they had that kind of discrepancy. Not sure what was going on there, but who knows? <laughs> you know, I love the fact that I was able to find and piece together this guy. I did have to replace his O-ring like all these other old G.I. Joes of mine, but once I got his body parts back together, it was smooth sailing from there. So that was kind of cool, and, and I love the fact that I still have this figure from my childhood, and he, he still looks all right. I mean, yeah, his head's not as shiny as if he was a brand new guy. Yes, like me, Cobra Commander. I'm talking like the guy in the cartoon. He had a really deep voice. Of course, in the commercials where Destro first showed up, he had a Cobra Commander squealy voice. And Cobra Commander in those commercials had a deep voice. Really weird how that was then swapped in the actual cartoon show. Go figure. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. I'll show you how to get G.I. Joe. It's Destro. Of course it's Destro, you fool! Who else can help us? We'll attack here. It's a terrifying G.I. Joe. Destro is his name. Destro is his name. G.I. Joe, American hero. Destro is his name. Destro is his name. Where those jets come from? G.I. Joe headquarters. We've got to find it. But will they? Read the further adventures of G.I. Joe in Marvel Comics. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Cobra Commander, you are evil. Yes, I know. Yeah, Cobra. Cobra. Anyways, all right, so that's enough of that. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this 
review of this childhood figure of mine, this attic find. And thanks for watching. I already said that. I'm going crazy. I'm losing my mind. All right. So <laughs> if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Please leave me a comment. Please check out my other videos. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Cobra! Attack the G.I. Joe headquarters! I am not sure this is the best idea Cobra Commander has ever had, Baroness. Destro, don't you think it's time for a little you and me time? I think it might be, Baroness. Let's get out of here. Ah, where are you going, Cobra? Destro, I am not sure this is such a nice place. It looked nice from the outside, but yes, you are correct. These are some weirdos in this place. Not sure what is going on here. No blasters! Pardon me. You'd best watch your step. My friend and I here have the death sentence on 12 systems. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you are saying. We are just looking for a quiet place to drink. And then we'll be on our way. You'll be dead! Why do you always bring me to places like this, Destro? I just wanted a nice quiet evening with my man. Baroness, come back, please! <laughs> 